What is up guys? Today we are going to be doing a requested video and in the bag. Uh, my bag has definitely changed a lot in the past uh, year. You know, just some changes that happened. But first, let's start with the bag itself. Um, I recently got the C-Series bag. It's smaller, holds about 10 to 12 discs in the main compartment and then, you know, putters on top. The reason why I did that was because I had a B-Series grip bag and I was just carrying way too many discs that I do not throw, didn't throw, and it was just making the bag much heavier, harder on me on rounds. Um, so when I made the switch to the CS2, honestly, much better. My back feels much better after rounds. I carry less discs, which is also good um, because I also, you know, I believe that amateurs carry too many discs. You don't need that many. Um, so time to dive in. Let's go ahead and start backwards a little bit. We're going to start with the side pockets. Just see what I'm carrying in the sides. So on any given day, I'm going to be carrying a towel. Uh, it doesn't have to be this towel, but any given day, I'm going to be carrying a towel. And then I also have my mini which is from Disc Golf and Pour. You guys can check them out. Um, this is my logo inside of a mini. Then on this side, we have the mitten bag. It's very hot and uh, humid out here in Texas. Um, so this is really good to dry your hands off. And then when you're out going, practicing on a course, um, you know, it, if you like to practice putt or anything like that before your round, I do carry uh, some disc dots here with me. It's a really cool putting aid. Helps you focus on one single chain when you're putting. Super easy to put on and take off. Um, yeah, so I do carry some disc dots around with me as well. Now let's go ahead and jump into the putters. The overall theme that you guys are gonna see is MVP, Axiom, uh, and streamline. The reason is I never threw those discs prior to uh, the last few months, but when I did, I really enjoyed them. So I just started trying them again. Um, my whole bag is not just that one brand. I do have, I think, one disc that's not that brand, uh, simply because when I'm out here um, at home throwing, you know, I do have a ton of discs from different brands, and I'm just starting to like those a little bit, and it's going to be, um, you know, mixing up my bag. But we'll start with the putters. So my putting putters, I have Envy's. These are the Electron Soft putters. Um, I don't know. I've putted them with them for a few months now. They are an overstable putter. I really like them. Um, they're soft and they catch the chains. So check these out if that's what you want. For throwing putters and jump putt putters, because those are a little bit too overstable, um, for jump putt and straight throwing putter, I have the Ohm. And then for a overstable uh, to straighter approach, I have another Envy, just in a different plastic here, Cosmic Neutron plastic. And then for my super overstable shot that I need, something like a zone. Um, I actually think it's more overstable than a zone, but the entropy right here. Again, that cosmic neutron plastic. Um, it looks really nice and it fits really well in the hand. Again, just like a zone. Um, so if you, you know, if you really like the zone, but you maybe you want to try a different brand or something that looks cooler, try this one. Now uh, let's hop into the mid ranges. So I have four mid-ranges in this bag, and my other bag I used to carry more, but obviously I can't carry that many discs. Um, but this first one that I'm going to show you guys might throw you off a little bit. It's a Patrol from Dynamic Discs. This one recently went in my bag, uh, simply because when I'm out here on the course, I've been really enjoying it, um, but as a really understable mid-range, probably, you know, really good for those hyzer flip shots that just turn over, um, and it's not going to come back at all. So I really like the Patrol. I recently heard some sad news that it was going out of, produc uh, out of production, um, but uh, you know we'll see if this is something that stays in my bag. The next mid-range that I have in my bag is the Tangent. Again, another understable mid-range. This one is a little bit deeper, um, which is a little bit weird in my smaller hands. So if you have smaller hands, maybe this might not be the disc for you, but it does have a ton of glide. Um, it's just not as understable as the Patrol. That's why the Patrol went in. But I really enjoy this disc for, again, uh, hyzer flip turnovers. But this one will come back, uh, for me at least. And then if you need something with a ton of glide, maybe you know, you're outside the circle and your putters just aren't getting there, um, the Tangent. Definitely, you know, it, it's a mid, but you can use it for jump putts. Um, I've been doing that and it works really well. So now my straight mid that I would compare to a Buzz is the Reactor. Um, this is one of the first discs that I got uh, from MVP and it's not going to leave the bag. 
I can throw it on forehand, backhand, and it is just dead straight. So if you need anything that's like a buzz, check this one out. And then last but not least uh, is my overstable mid, which is the Pyro. Fits really well in the hand. I would compare it to a Buzz OS, maybe a little bit more overstable. If you're looking for other discs um, that are overstable as well, like this one, there's the Deflector and then there's the Runaway. Um, those are both good as well. If I ever lose this one, those fly pretty similar. So that would be what is gonna take this place if I ever lose this. Okay, next is gonna be my understable fairway spot in my bag. Um, as you guys know, I really like the Insanity, so I bag three Insanities, um, different weights and different plastics. I have a 166 um, Proton Plastic Insanity. I have a 174 Proton Insanity, and then the Plasma Plastic, this is 175. They all fly just slightly different from one another. Um, you guys, you know, if you bag one of these, you might not see a huge difference, but I do. I also can throw these on forehand and they're gonna fly dead straight. And um, if I'm gonna put more power on it, obviously I'm gonna do hyzer flip and it is gonna fly pretty straight. Um, but in any wind, if you're gonna try and throw this with some power, it is gonna turn over. So you might want something a little bit more overstable than the Insanity. And then the more understable disc other than the Insanity that I have is the Crave. This is one of their Halloween editions and I really, really enjoy the Crave. Um, I actually bought myself a backup Crave that is uh, purple and pink with some sparkles in there. Um, this one is more understable than the Insanity, uh, but I really enjoy it. I don't throw it forehand, I throw it backhand because I do have that slower backhand speed. So it definitely works for me if I'm trying to throw a hyzer flip or a super long turnover. Also, this disc is very shallow, so my small hand fits in there. Um, if, again, if you have a small hand, this would feel pretty good for you, uh, just because that shallow rim doesn't feel like um, some of those other discs that have a deeper rim. Next, I have uh, two more overstable fairways. Uh, first, I have the Volt. Um, this one's gonna be, uh, be if I'm throwing something farther than the Insanity. Um, and it's overstable for my backhand, so I mostly just throw it forehand. And that is in the Eclipse Glow Proton Plastic. And then I have a Tesla, which to me resembles like a Raptor, a Firebird, something like that. Um, so it is reliable. It is not going to turn over in a headwind. So if you need something like that, the Tesla is definitely what you're going to want. And then usually I would uh, carry more than just one distance driver. Right now I'm really trying to figure out what I like. Um, there's a few different distance drivers that I've been trying, but this is the one that's been in my bag uh, for the longest time and is the Octane. I only have one, obviously, because there's not many spots that you can put in a bag, but uh, it pretty much just, you know, does what a distance driver needs to do, like a Destroyer, anything like that, Zeus. Um, this is very comparable. Uh, I have other distance drivers, like I said before, that, you know, if I lose this, I'm not gonna be super upset just because it's not super different from anything else. Um, yeah, so I, I wouldn't be mad if I went back to the Zeus because I have those destroyers, I have those. Um, so, but there is my distance driver. And then that is pretty much everything in my bag. Um, you know, it has changed a ton in the last few months and I'm sure it's gonna change a ton in the next coming months uh, just with more practice, uh, more throwing. You know, these discs are gonna just cycle in and out. If you guys like this, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And uh, soon we'll do Hannah's in the bag. So we'll see we, what she is throwing recently. Watch this video over here that YouTube recommends for you. And we'll see you guys next time.